All right, Buckeye fans. So obviously today was a convincing win over Northwestern. That's great and all. Before we get into that, though, please hit that like, comment, share, subscribe button. That all is appreciated. Helps out the channel so much. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to getting out some more content for you guys to enjoy. But let's dive into it. This is kind of a recap and a look ahead to the next two matchups. So maybe I'll you could count this a preview, a mini preview. But I'll have individual previews for both Indiana and the team up north. But let's dive into it, man. So obviously, Northwestern behind us. We're 9-1. and one. Got an easy win, as we all anticipated. We got two huge games against the Hoosiers and the Wolverines. Those are going to define our season. Indiana is undefeated. I believe they're 10 yeah, they're 10 and 0. They're coming off, they're on their bye. But they beat Michigan last, you know, the weekend before. I mean, they were held to 3 points in the second half. I was actually going to dive into that, but you know, Ohio State, it's going to be a tough one. I mean, every Ohio State fan, I'm sure, is a little nervous just because, you know, we do have a loss under our belt. So, a loss here could really hinder our season, man. Um, but you know, obviously it's we're all hopeful. Uh, we all have a lot of faith, you know, in this team, and I rightfully so. I mean, they, you know, they show that they're resilient. Well, Howard is showing, you know, a lot more confidence even than early in the season. Um, you know, he seems to, he completed. I think there was in the first half, he was seventy nine percent of his passes were complete. So that's just amazing. Um, and you know, it was just it was it was it's been a good stretch. But you know, these next two games are obviously gonna come down to the wire. And uh, really define our season. So it's important for us to come out. But let's look at Indiana. Obviously, they're undefeated. They're 10-0. They're ranked number 5. Um, they haven't played a top 10 team yet. I mean, we've played two top 10 teams. We obviously lost by a point to Oregon. And then we beat up on Penn State. Uh, but Kirk Sidnetti's actually giving them a lot to cheer for. I know Indiana fans are kind of mixed on the hire, but they've achieved their first 10-win season in program history, which is really good. And yeah, their offense has, you know, they haven't seen a top 10 team yet, but they're averaging 43.9 points a game, which is, you know, second in the nation. So that's just, that's good. <laughs> Indiana's going to be, they're no, they're no slouch. They're no easy win for the Buckeyes. It damn sure won't be just like this game. Um, it's going to be a, a, a tough game. And I think Ohio State is well-primed to take up their game to compete and beat Indiana. And that's going to be important. Record-wise, this is our toughest game, obviously. So, you know, I definitely think we can hang with these boys and beat them. I think that we will because they haven't been tested yet. I think this is their first true test, vice versa. Um, and then you look at the team up north, of course. It's our biggest rivalry. I mean, you could talk about, you know, their record being bad and whatnot, but it's a rivalry game. These are going to be close. I mean, rarely do you get a, to a point where it's just a blowout. It's it's, it's Michigan-Ohio State. It's the most fierce, maybe not the best, but the most fierce rivalry in all sports, in my opinion. Yankees-Red Sox is probably the best, but Michigan-Ohio State, that takes it to a new level in terms of just intensity um, just the hatred, I guess, if you want to call it. And, you know, it's our biggest rivalry. And they got, these have big implications. You know, their defense, they gave up three points in the second half to Indiana. A big, a, a win in, against Indiana, that's going to be who, you know, who, who, uh, it would just really, it, I'm just going to say, we beat Indiana and Michigan. That would really just, that would be amazing. Like, you know. Like, especially if we can beat them convincingly, sure. But just to win at this point, you know, these are two teams that are just going to make it as tough as they can on us. And what better way for them to knock us out if either of them beats us? Because I'm telling you, man, I don't like our chances with two losses to get into the playoffs. It's going to be a tough tough way to go out if we don't make it. But I really want us to make it. And I think that we can beat these two teams. But, you know, their defense is tough. You'd be lying if you didn't say it. You know, regardless of... You know, they don't have a quarterback. Uh, they went all in and, you know, pretty much sold everything for their national title last year. But it's it's a rivalry game. So they can definitely give it their all. And they can definitely, like, you know, compete. You know, I mean, realistically, we should beat these guys. But it's a rivalry game. So you never know. These teams know each other so well. But that's pretty much it. I mean... 
The thing is, win next week. Like I said, Indiana has not played a top 10 team yet. They've not faced a true test. But, you know, so beating them, but kill from an emotional aspect. Kill the team up north. Please. We want them bad. We want to destroy them after what they've done to us the last three years. And all the crap that they've talked. Beating them would be so beautiful. You know, that's the start of hate week, too. Because, you know, Ohio State plays Michigan on Saturday. The Bengals play the Steelers on Sunday. And the Cavaliers play the Celtics on Sunday. That is hate week. A three, a part three of hate week. So how? what better way than to start it off with, a, with ending the three-game skid and beating Michigan? But I know we, I, I, honestly, we got to take it one week at a time. So focus is on Indiana. We're worried about Indiana right now. And that'd be a huge statement even if we can win. So we'll get to Michigan. We'll see them when we see them. But I'm looking forward to this Indiana game, man. I'm excited to see how we look matching up against these dudes. And we'll just take it from there. But, as always, kudos to Buckeye Nation, man. They freaking took over Western. I know Chicago is literally Buckeye town. I mean, they just took over that school. So that was great to see, especially in Wrigleyville. You know, that was just an amazing thing to see. And the next two weeks, they're at home. What do we got to do? Same energy, if not more. Because these are two big games, and our support is needed. For the Scarlet and Gray, man. You guys have a great one. Let's go, Bucks. I'm hyped for this week against Indiana. It's going to be a great game. But let's get into it, man. You guys take care. OH, IO, and go, Bucks.